to get started here. Um, I think we have our chaplain here. And there are minutes and agendas in the back. If there's still enough left, hopefully you're up. Uh, as is our usual course, we'll start with prayer and the pledge for the creed. But if, uh, Lyman, if you would, uh, and if, if you don't mind, Lyman, can you turn that around without it? stressing the uh, wire? Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We ask in the very beginning that you put that guiding, healing hand upon the Wilman's niece who was in an accident last week. And we ask that you be with them and the child. We ask that you be with our military, especially those in the harm's way. We ask that this country gets back to good Judeo-Christian constitutional living. Not send our men anywhere unless we send them to win. And we ask you to be with this club, this Republican club. We ask that you we do the right thing. We have one thing on the agenda. Let's get Obama out. And we can only do that if we stay united. And we ask for that guy to be with the ones that are not here tonight and be with us all as we take part in this meeting and as we ride home tonight. These and all our many blessings we ask in my great son Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Church Rob Watts. Here. 
Pineview, Craig Caldwell. Here. Bell Valley, Jim Ekstrom. Here. Red Bank, Bill Rentiers. Here. Round Hill, Joey Derby. Here. St. David, Ed Boyle. Here. St. David, Chester Earwood. Here. Saluda River, George Hardy. Here. Saluda River, Tommy Plump. Here. St. Michael, Burt Holland. Here. St. Michael, Nikki Lindler. West Columbia, Ford. Betty Coon. Yeah. Westover, Edward Hartley. Yeah. And Whitehall, Carla Hardy. Here. Okay, anybody else? <laughs> what precinct is that? Okay. KC2, Cynthia Lampley. Red Bank South, 2, Beverly Seas. Hang on. Who's KC2? KC2. Cynthia Lampley. Red Bank South, 2, Beverly C. Mary Sell, 7 Oaks. Just 2. Let your aunt choose here on the show. Michael Green, Freedom. White Noble, Thomas Campbell. Will Holly, Margaret Gamble. Any other precinct folks here? President or executive committee person? Myself on uh, Mount Keepman. And I'm Park Road too. I think we definitely have a quorum.
let's uh, let the county party get involved in our nonpartisan elections, and I've gotten very strong feedback about it. Um, so I, I just want your ideas. Uh, contact me at any time. Uh, no, my number is 466-9573, and you can email, email me. We're uh, looking at the way we need to go forward with that so we can present something in front of the executive committee as to how we're going to be able to affect nonpartisan races. Also, don't, uh, be ready for me to contact you and maybe set up a meeting for district chairs and other precinct leaders uh, so we can get our precincts activated and more involved in the party. Uh, our reorganization didn't have as many people as, as we should have this year. And you would think after not only in South Carolina but across the country we had such a successful November last year that our involvement would have increased. But, uh, it didn't at the precinct level, so we need to step it up, and we need to find ways to get our precincts involved. Uh, thirdly, something that I've been working with my other chairman with, and uh, Wes, who is basically the liaison for the different clubs in the county, Republican clubs, we'd like to start a Republican breakfast. And this is something I've also gotten a lot of positive feedback about. We. Uh, need an event for our county and it's worked across the state where people can get together and socialize and eat and uh, not have to worry about bylaws and, and, and different things and I think that's a terrific thing for us to do so uh, another thing I want your input on and uh, I am definitely open to uh, playing with you guys on how to move us forward. Thank you Preston and uh, Wes that gets us to you. All right Mr. Watson will you have something to say to my you just called me up. Um, thank you. Um, I just have two quick things so we can keep moving along. We did have a meeting back uh, last month. It wasn't at the end of the month that we typically do, due to Memorial Day, but we did meet uh, at the um, what was it called? Carolina Allen House in the Vista. Uh, we had several different people there, uh, representatives uh, from, from the uh, state party. We had elected officials, and I don't remember who all was there. Preston. And I, I wanted to take one quick moment, a personal privilege, and anything that the YR has gotten done over the last couple of months, just because of the things that I've been insanely busy about, has been thanks to this man right here. So if you would, join me and give him a round of applause. <laughs> the other two things I have just quickly is that we are going to be going back to the flight deck. Many of you know we used to meet at the flight deck. Then we started kind of rotating around. Um, the rotating around experiment has, has had its ups and downs. Uh, we decided to go back to the uh, flight deck. I've spoken to Ted. He's all for it. Um, we just have to find out a meeting. We will not meet this month um, because I don't necessarily want to give it out. I don't know how much detail you give it on that. But yeah, I haven't given much, but okay. it's, I'll go ahead and break the. Okay. We're, we've had a legislative barbecue the last two years after the session, and we're going to do another one this year. And I'm, I haven't even contacted a, a, either a senator or a House member, but. We're trying to do it on the last Monday of the month, which is the 27th, I think. 20, I think it's the 27th, which would be the same night they normally meet, so they're probably just going to be with us. Right, yeah, that's what. We're not going to meet in June, so long as that event happens. Um, and then the last thing is we do have our state convention, uh, state wire convention coming up. I believe it's this Saturday, is that right? Yeah, this Saturday, um, the location I still have not been 100% determined on. I have to find that out. Um, but it's at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, just wish us our luck on that. And uh, we just want to go. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, sir. All right. And our first vice chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I don't really have anything to report on this evening, but I would like to take a moment of uh, privilege, if I might. I uh, hadn't heard this mentioned on the news yet today, but uh, I thought about it. I'm sure some of the others in here have. Uh, June 6th. 1944. We got any World War II veterans in here with us tonight. We all stand up and let us honor you for just a minute. <laughs> uh, that, that was D-Day, Mr. Chairman, and uh, it's uh, a lot of brave men and women did a lot of great things, and uh, we're very thankful, George. Especially, appreciate you being with us tonight. All right, thank you. And Tommy Quank is our executive committeeman, and the state has not met, I don't believe. No, we did that first meeting, meeting Saturday in prosperity for some reason. <laughs> I 